Um, so uh, this is the uh, GIGOS organization, and you can see that on the uh, left-hand side is where we live, uh, where the Bureau is and the entities within the Bureau. Uh, these are uh, key people uh, in the Bureau. I'm not going to go through them all, but uh, you can have the ad advantage of uh, uh, opportunity to look at all those names later on when you, re when you review this, all the, the uh, talks here. Okay, the role of the Bureau is uh, to advocate and encourage expansion of the, of the network, convince people that they really should build VLBI and SLR stations uh, in uh, particularly remote places to help fill out the network. Uh, we, en we encourage... So I hear, I hear talking in the background. <laughs> you can still hear me? All right. Uh, we want to encourage uh, groups to make make partnerships, encourage core sites. Uh, we want to provide uh, opportunities for the uh, the uh, uh, services and the standing committees to get together and talk, compare notes, uh, help each other. Uh, we try and scope the projected network in the future. What do we, what do we expect five years from now, ten years from now, uh, based on what people are telling us? of the great success they're going to have in deploying their equipment, uh, which usually they don't meet the schedules that they plan, but at least, uh, at least we, can, we can hope and, and watch, watch things happen. Um, we give talks, we give posters at uh, different meetings, and uh, we work with the IAG and the UN uh, GGIM in developing the, uh, the plans for the IAG network uh, and to satisfy the ITRF requirements. This is um, a slide on the core networks uh, and uh, you can sort of see what's what's happening. Uh, we've deployed some new uh, new stations uh, in, in the uh, in the, in the uh, network. Um, certainly the, we have the uh, Tsukuba uh, Ishioka uh, core network which is now uh, now operating. I point out they're about uh, 15 or 20 kilometers apart, so there's some issue as to whether or not this is really uh, a core site. Uh, but anyhow, they're fairly close, and uh, actually I was updated today to say that it's really 15 kilometers instead of 20. I don't know if that makes, makes a difference or not. Um, and uh, I, I was sort of hoping that with uh, a proper uh, local networks around each of each of the stations that uh, we could get pretty close to what we would get uh, with a, a ground survey uh, core sites. Uh, we have other, others that are coming along. Uh, we cert we expect uh, very shortly uh, the, uh, the the station station here that we visited yesterday uh, that the laser station would be operational and that we'd have another another core site. Um, and we have others who are coming along over, over time, uh, some who have had some uh, uh, equipment setbacks and things like that, but um, hopefully eventually they get over their, their issues and, uh, and uh, get, get themselves operational. You'll notice, however, from the map that there are still very large gaps, uh, even including those stations that are planned. Uh, so in fact, we've got a lot of convincing to do and we have a lot of help that operational groups need to give new groups coming along uh, to get them going. And recognize that uh, some of these stations are very costly. Uh, I point out that uh, those for folks who are building laser stations know that. And, uh, and certainly um, that you need uh, adequate funds to, to build uh, the uh, VLBI, VLBI stations. Now I'd like to spend the rest of the time I have, uh, some way to tell me this, uh, uh, you have probably, uh, most of you have probably seen the, the, implement the new implementation plan, the draft for 2023-2025. Uh, uh, I found, uh, I think, 13 items in which the uh, Bureau is supposed to be the lead organization in doing this, this task. And, uh, and there are a whole bunch of others that are, we're, we're supporting on. Uh, and just to mention a few, 
um, uh, working with the IAG uh, Infrastructure Committee uh, to complete uh, the development of the metadata system for uh, GNSS, that's the, the IAG, and, uh, and to expand its role to other, other, other services. Uh, based on the uh, experience that I have witnessed over the last 10 years, uh, this is going to take a lot of time and a lot of energy. Uh, but um, you know we we must uh, work on it, and we uh, must keep a nose to the grindstone, as we say. Uh, we advocate for a consistent and well-documented uh, data processing chain uh, that describes you know, how the original observational data are transformed into a user-related uh, information. Uh, all of all of the services all the services need to do this. Um, revise, update, uh, amend the 2015 document that, that we wrote, uh, GIGO's requirements for core sites, and, and uh, update it for some of the newest technologies, and uh, also uh, update it to include uh, inf the, uh, the, the new techniques, the gravitational techniques um, for the, uh, the uh, IHRF and the uh, ITGRF. Uh, we've got to get the gravity field in there. Um, we are uh, talking to stations about including gravity field uh, in their in their slate of equipment. Uh, those are really part of the part of the fundamental networks. And uh, what else shall I mention? And, and anyhow, and so there there are you know a number of uh, items here. Uh, I point out. Uh, some others um, developing uh, improved analysis methods uh, for reference frame uh, products uh, with focus of including uh, all, all of the different kinds of data that we have uh, and uh, that will include gravity field and uh, uh, any and other, other techniques that we think are pertinent. So uh, our bureau has 13 items here. We have yet to go through this with our membership to decide who is going to do what and where we have to recruit new people to, to do it. But um, I, I've, I know there's going to be a, a meeting, I guess, the, uh, this afternoon, the, the, tomorrow afternoon. Uh, there's going to be a, a meeting to discuss the implementation plan. And uh, I, I want to uh, actually commend uh, Laura and others who who put this together. A lot of work and a lot of wisdom went into it. So uh, with that, um, I would ask if there any uh, questions of my talk before we start in the other 10 talks that are coming. OK, all right. All right, very good. All right.